Okay, um, now we will be engaging in autopilot. The autopilot knob is right here. One pull for cruise control, two pulls for autopilot. To keep your car distance, this increases it, and it can also decrease your car distance when you turn the knob. I recommend keeping it at two or three. So here we go. So now that we're driving, you'll see in front of me that there is a steering wheel. That's how you know autopilot is available. If you pull once, you go to cruise control, which will lock that speed limit right there. If you pull it twice, you'll hear an audible sound and that will engage in autopilot like this. Two pulls. And now we're in autopilot. The car will navigate and you can see right next to us, it will tell us where a car is, if there's one in front of us, behind us, or to the sides. In order to change lanes, simply turn on your indicator. If it's clear, the car will change lanes for you, like that. Now, while I'm in autopilot, the car will slow down, just like that, and then it will increase speed. So all it's trying to do is maintain your car distance. Again, to change lanes, all I'm gonna do is turn the indicator on like this. The vehicle will see that it's clear, and then it will change lanes for me. And that's really it. You have to take it off. This is, the Model 3 has it where it automatically comes off, but it changes one lane at a time. But that's it, simple, autopilot.